How's it going everyone? It's the final render here. And if you never met me, I am a YouTube gamer who has got an awful lot of content on Fallout 4 settlement build videos and all of them are very highly modified PC builds. So when I was challenged by X Jokers Girl X, aka Lois, who does an awful lot of my channel art, to go ahead and build in the same location as her, using vanilla assets on the PlayStation 4 as a fun challenge, I had to accept. So, on the PlayStation 4, this is what I came up with. I built a lovely Sanctuary Player home which has got everything you need in it to hopefully go ahead and get a win and run in Fallout 4, as well as looking nice. We have got a lovely safe garage in here which has been built onto the side of the home with all the workstations you need to go ahead and build all the resources you need to win the game successfully. We have got a beautiful garden exterior to invite your friends around and have a barbecue. And we have got an absolutely fantastic repaired interior. The ceiling has been repaired, the walls have been repaired, and it's got all the lovely decorations you need to go ahead and live your life happy in Sanctuary Hills. But enough of me, of course. You've come to see Lois's video. So, thank you very much for inviting me to do this challenge, X Jokers Girl X. And I look forward to seeing your entry into the challenge. Remember to vote who you thought did the best job and you can check out my entire build on my channel. It's not about who won, it's about sharing creative ideas. So, bye bye for now. Hey guys, it's Lois. And thank you Fine Randolph for that lovely intro. But uh, we're doing a collab thing today, so we both chose... Uh, well, I chose <laughs> the house in Sanctuary for us to build. And um, if any of you are from Final Render's channel coming over, say hello, uh, welcome. Hopefully you don't find it too boring because I am a scatterbrain when it comes to videos. I don't plan them out, I just talk out my ass pretty much. And also I cuss a lot, so sorry if you're a bit sensitive to a lot of swear words, then my channel may not be for you. <laughs> but um, yes, we are doing a little sanctuary house, so we're rebuilding pretty much the whole of the inside and a little bit of the outside just to make it look a bit decent. Um, I was going to make it kind of with the usual objects and stuff but I, I don't know I didn't really when I found the pre-war uh, sofa that you get in the vault tech DLC I kind of fell in love with it and I couldn't help but use a lot of of the vaults um, pre-war kind of furniture. It makes the place look a lot nicer. But um, yeah, right now we're doing an old trick, like all of these little tricks that I did, like putting the flooring in and all that, I haven't used it for years. <laughs> so I'm surprised I remembered it. I didn't look any tutorials up, I just tried to use what muscle memory I had. But um, yeah, so we put the flooring in uh, using the pillar glitch. Um, and we use the pillar glitch to put in some windows as well. So the way you put the windows in is simply just putting um, the warehouse windows down uh, which is in the wall section and then just kind of moving them up and also I did a lot with the doors as well so I put doors on the inside as well as the out and the way I did that is because they obviously don't snap I put down a fence wall which had like the door frame you put a door in, I'm doing it right now <laughs> you put the door into the door frame get rid of the door frame <laughs> and uh, and then kind of slot them in like that. I said door frame way too much, I'm sorry. <laughs> By the way, if I sound a little weird or raspy, that's because um, it's about 10 in the morning and I have not slept at all. So I have had two big cups of coffee and I'm ready to go. I'm very hyper currently, but I know I'm going to crash any minute now. <laughs> But we're just putting some lighting in. I didn't, for you who know my channel, I am obsessed with coloured lights. You may get really annoyed by that, but I, I use them a lot. And I didn't use any for this build, which is really weird for me. It's only because I wanted it to be kind of a bright build. And I've noticed that with my builds, I tend they tend to be kind of dark. I don't know. So I wanted to try out just using the regular lights as well as kind of the fancy lights which you get from a, ma a magazine. So I repeat, I did not use any mods. I get a lot of questions um, and people stating that I have used mods when I, I haven't. Trust me, I wish I would, <laughs> but I can't sign in. So it's a bit complicated, but I won't go into that. So I was gonna start off obviously using regular furniture like this, but then get the couch out and uh, I changed my mind completely. 
but I really hope that you like both me and Final Render's videos. Um, they have turned out really different actually, because I saw um, the intro that Final Render did for me, um, I saw before I made my intro for him, so I got to see what his was before uh, mine. And we've done uh, different. <laughs> we've done very different kind of ideas, and that's what's awesome about this kind of challenge is that you never know what you're gonna get, and you can see all different ideas. I mean, I had two different bedroom ideas for my one because I uh, I tried to do a bit air, like experimental stuff, but then I kind of looked at it again and I was just not happy, so I just deleted everything. Oh, also, while I remember, um. There is no footage for building or finishing um, the second bedroom and the bathroom. I don't know why. I swear I recorded it, so uh, that will be not in the video. But that's fine. They're only tiny, tiny little rooms, so it's not too bad of a missing link. So I'm sure um, no one will cry over that. Now I want to uh, tell you guys about something. I, my sister and I are working on a sanctuary build, which is completely modded. Um, because she's impatient and she wants to use mods. So <laughs> we are building that together. It looks really nice at the moment. We've got pretty much all the companions in Sanctuary and we're making, well, mainly me, we're making um, each house to be set for a companion. And uh, so far we've done Curie's one and we're sort of doing Pipers at the moment. But yeah, all the houses are going to be uh, companion related so if you ever want to see what the final product looks like um, I'll gladly put a video up kind of explaining what each house is and um, yeah it looks really nice there's a lot of trees about and building in sanctuary after playing around with mods definitely makes you miss trees so I uh, the the like you know the vanilla way of kind of getting around that is placing a shite ton of meat fruit around because it's it's nice and green, you know. <laughs> it's the only thing that's kind of greenery, unless you get one of the potted plants, which is like my favorite thing to put around anywhere because of the color. And uh, yeah, <laughs> but uh, speaking of potted plants, just put one down. But I wish I did the the kitchen looks okay. Um, I used to do it a lot with um, the the ones from the vault. I use a lot of vault shit in here. <laughs> But it's like uh, counters, um, I usually use them and then I put like a fridge down. But I thought, let's try something different and I wanted to just test out what this looked like without a fridge and just have counters. I think it looks quite nice. I, I really love the pre-war furniture. Um, oh god, if you ever saw my, um, I've got like a set playlist of me building in the vault. Um, I've also got a big vault video showing off what I made it with, or turned out to be. Oh, my English is so bad, even though I'm English. But, but uh, yeah, the when I found out about the pre-war stuff, I think I, I yelped. It's actually my funny moments video, because <laughs> there's a tense moment right after. But uh, I, why am I just throwing out videos for you guys to watch? That's a bit, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? I should really stop. Like I said, I've had no sleep. So I, I have no filter right now, <laughs> and it's awful. I should really stop recording. <laughs> but I hope everyone's doing really well. Um, I hope you all had some sleep. <laughs> and I hope uh, everything's doing really well. Um, currently, I'm all I'm doing really is making videos, playing around. Um, yep. <laughs> My life is so exciting! I'm doing a lot of digital art stuff and uh, my birthday's coming up in November and I'm planning on getting a big tattoo for that so extra excited for that. It's going to be in my collarbone so I'm going to cry but that's okay because it's worth it. Always worth it. I'm uh, I'm in love with tattoos. Like super bad. But you didn't come here for me talking about tattoos. You saw me putting furniture down. Because that's that's exciting. <laughs> but we have moved now to the outside of the build. So I have done a... This is like a kind of a little trick that I did in Nuka World. Um, and you can get these little little cars in the little kitty kingdom thing. So yeah, that's what I did. And I put kind of glitched in the red little lights from the vault. 
onto them so it looks like kind of um oh, what's the what's the name what's well, the stoplights you know what i mean when it goes red but i'm pretty sure it's only at the back but it's okay because it's fallout and who cares so <laughs> we're doing the garden i originally didn't really do the garden <laughs> and uh i saw final render's intro and i was like shit he did it in the background oh no so i was like well I better build because <laughs> I didn't want to do a crappy thing where I just did the build and he did a nice back garden and I didn't so I was like that ain't fair I even told him I told him don't worry about outside the building just get the inside done it's all good and he still did it <laughs> so I had to do it so I mean that wasn't too bad because I actually had fun doing it even though I was zoning in and out of sleep during <laughs> So, um, yeah, I think it turned out really nice. I did like a little gazebo and I didn't really fence off the um, little back garden that much. I only did like the right side of it, but it's okay. It looks really nice at the end. And I put a little, a little, a load of uh, meat fruit. As you can tell, I had 84 just chilling there. Um, four and 80. But, so I was a. Uh, there was a part of me that wanted to kind of put all 80 of them in the garden because <laughs> I can't stop when it comes to meat fruit. I love them too much. But uh, I settled for 30, <laughs> maybe? No, that's probably about 15. But I wanted to make the garden kind of bright and lively. And yeah, I think it looks really, really nice. We're going to put down some more greenery and then we're going to move on to a little kind of eating area because anyone that has a back garden would have flamingos and <laughs> and an eating area but I um, did do a little trick with the generator I forgot completely that I put a medium sized generator in the back because I, obviously I wasn't planning on doing a garden so I just had it in the back so what I did is I used a concrete pillar and shrunk it shrunk it? what? S sunk it <laughs> down um, onto the floor by the wall so you can't really see it much it's just kind of out of the way and I do that kind of a lot with my builds I um, I like to kind of sink it away or if there's a build where you can't go into a building that you can't get rid of you know like for example in Egret Tours Marina there are some buildings you can't go into and they're just there and you can easily just kind of rug glitch them in and surprisingly I use the rug glitch quite a lot in my builds um, I didn't I used it once in this one I don't know how but in any time that I needed to kind of glitch things into each other I did the thing where you put the rug near it and then just hold down X or hold down whatever button it is <laughs> for Xbox and uh, the PC but hold it down and uh, it just kind of grabs anything close to it and that's all I did. The only time I used the proper rug glitch was for the Christmas tree inside the um, living room. And that's because it's a tricky, tricky thing to put down. And uh, I don't know why I put down the Christmas tree. It's September. I think I'm a little ahead of myself. I, to be fair, me and my sister were listening to Christmas songs recently. And I don't know why. We just, we, we got ahead of ourselves. So... <laughs> I'm a Halloween person, if you couldn't tell, <laughs> um, and I am super excited for that. But I'm a very Christmassy person as well. I'm I'm a very festive <laughs> girl, <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I think that's why I put the Christmas tree down. But right now we're on to the gazebo. I have no idea how it came to mind to make a gazebo. I think it's because my own house we have. Um, a little kind of porch area. Is it a porch? I don't know what it's called. I've forgotten the name. Once again, I slept none. <laughs> but we have like a the bit to stand the deck. Oh my god, that's it. I am very raw with these videos. I don't cut out a lot. <laughs> and if I do, they are awful. Um, I can easily make a video just about the stuff I've cut out. <laughs> but I have. Um, one of those at my house and uh, yeah I just saw it and went sure <laughs> my curative license is just amazing 
But I wanted to do a little kind of workshop bit. Nothing too fancy. Nothing like final renders. It's just a little bit like, here you go. Congrats. <laughs> but this is the final tour. Woo! Overall, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think the lights look really nice, the decorations are pretty good. I even did my old kind of style where, um, well, it's not really a style. I kind of just collect a crap ton of junk in my inventory and then just kind of fly it out. <laughs> just kind of drop it. And then I pick it up and then place it where it looks like it needs it to go. And I use a lot of clean items as well, so that was quite fun. Also, I used... Um, Kind of the Children of Atom little drapes to make it look like curtains. But yeah, this is the final product. I hope you like it, guys. And uh, please vote down below who you think did a better job. Wink, 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 wink. Final one. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Uh, love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching. And bye!